that's my sort of top tip. It's not really what I was going to say when I started, when I pressed record on here. But anyway, um, kinetic theory then. Solids are arranged in what we call a regular lattice or kind of pattern. This is my kind of model of a solid. It's some squash balls that are glued together with some springs. And the squash balls represent the particles. In physics, we use the word particles to be deliberately vague. We don't want to use the word atoms because we might be talking about molecules. And we don't want to use the word molecules because we might be talking about atoms. Right? If this was aluminium, these would be atoms. Right? But if it was ice, these would be H2O molecules. Um, so we just use the word particles so we don't have to worry about it. Um, so they're arranged in regular, regular lattice. These springs represent the bonds that are between them. This is a model, by the way. Um, and actually, if you look at the wall behind me, I've got my atomic models up here. When we do this, I guess you could say we're using Dalton's billiard ball model of the atom, the one that's literally just a sphere look. Um, so that model isn't completely useless. And we do, we do, use, we do use that. They're all, they're all kind of um, have assumptions in them and, and simplifications of what's really happening. Anyway, got my solid. And always these particles are moving. They're vibrating on the spot. They've got energy. Every um, particle in the universe has got some energy and is moving. The colder it gets, the less, it, the less they move. Okay, so if they're really, really cold, they're going to move slower and slower and slower. They're going to have less kinetic energy and therefore they're going to have less energy. Well, what we measure when we're measuring temperature is we're measuring the average kinetic energy of molecules. And so if that average kinetic energy of molecules is very low, then it's very cold. But the average kinetic energy of molecules can never be zero. Um, if it, uh, it, it can approach it, and it's, there's a theoretical minimum temperature of the universe called absolute zero, which I'll talk about in, I think, two lessons' time. Um, it's not actually um, explicitly on the specification, so don't worry about it. But um, there's, there's a kind of minimum temperature because these particles can never stop moving. They're always going to have some energy. And um, if we try to take energy out of particles that have very little energy, they'll just get some energy from somewhere else. Um, they'll just absorb energy from somewhere else in the universe. So. Um, but as it gets hotter, they're going to start to move around more. And they're going to start to move around even more. They're going to start to move around even more. And so they're going to get more and more kinetic energy. And eventually they get so much energy that they can leave their, they can leave their bonds. Right. Oh. And that means that they can sort of slide around over the top of each other. I haven't got that regular structure anymore. You know, I had that, that cube before. I haven't got that cube anymore. This, this is a lot tougher than it used to be. This glue is dried on hard. Right, and eventually they can, now, they can now move around more, right? They can now move around over here really fast or over here really fast. Whereas before they couldn't because they were trapped in their regular lattice. And so what we can say now is that the, the, my substance, whatever it is that's made out of these squash ball particles, has melted. So it's, it's melted and it will um, what it behaves. It is a liquid now. It's, it's um, going to fill the bottom of a container potentially. Cut myself on one of the springs. Um, right, so we can give it even more energy though. We can give it even more energy and it should turn into a, a gas. Now to get it to turn into a gas, um, these bonds have to um, become even weaker. And then what I'm gonna do to simulate it is to sort of throw it all up in the air. There we go, look, and that's my kind of model of a gas. The, um, the particles in a gas are far apart. They're moving randomly, they're moving very quickly um, because there's nothing in between them. And they actually move around at millions of miles an hour. It's hard to believe that, but they do. Um, they're very small, they've got nothing to kind of interact with until they then collide with another gas particle. Because of all of this, um, solids are much better at conducting uh, um, thermal energy. So if you've got um, your, your kind of regular lattice again and you uh, towards one end, the particles are moving around quite quickly because they're quite hot. That's quickly going to mean that the whole lot is moving around um, quite quickly. The whole, the whole structure um, has more average kinetic energy of molecules. The whole structure is getting hotter. Um, the, in a the liquid, they're, they're not as good at conducting because if some particles have more um, thermal energy and they're moving around very quickly, they're not going to transfer that to the rest of the structure as quickly, but they will because they're in close contact 
but they're just as close in the liquid as they are in the solid, so they're in close contact, so they will still um, collide and pass on that energy. In the gas, though, really far apart, it's going to take a while for one of those particles to then collide with another particle and to transfer energy. So gases are not good conductors of thermal energy. Solids are really good conductors of, 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 of heat, thermal energy, um, uh, because, of, because of their structure. You need to know the solid, liquid and gas, the three, the three states of matter, although actually there's five states of matter, but the only ones that we're interested in about are uh, the solid liquids and gases. And we need to know the words of, of how to describe going from one to the other. So um, your solid will melt to turn into a liquid. Your liquid will um, evaporate to turn into a gas. We try not to use the word boil, because if you've got like a glass of water and you leave it on the windowsill, it is going to evaporate um, before it gets to 100 degrees. Now, why that is, used to be on the specification and isn't anymore, although there are actually two questions about it on the flip around physics. So um, but it's, it is important that we can kind of work out some stuff from some information. So please do, do, do still answer those questions. Um, but we, we don't use the word boiling because boiling only happens at the boiling point and actually evaporation can happen, can happen before that. Going back down, um, your gas will condense into um, a liquid and uh, your liquid will freeze or solidify into a solid. So that's the, the kind of basics um, of kinetic theory. Hopefully I haven't missed anything out. Um, so what I'd like to do is that flipped around physics worksheet um, and then um, we're just going to mark the two things and submit them um, depending on you know, 